So Ken is from Namix and he'll be telling us about low temperature sintering nano silver paste. So there we are. Ken, you're good to go. Well, good luck. All right, thank you very much for the opportunity. So um, today we're gonna to just talk about a low temperature sintering case for flexible applications. Uh, first, just want to give a little overview of who Namix is. So Namix Corporation, we are a Japanese-based company, have been around for over 75 years, um, and we make a number of insulating and conductive materials for semiconductor electronics pack packages, passive components, and solar cells. We have uh, offices throughout the world. Well, our headquarters is in Niigata, Japan. Um, we have direct sales staff in the U.S., uh, Europe, Korea, Taiwan, Southeast Asia, China, and Hong Kong. So it really allows us to provide a, you know, a, a global presence for all our customers. Um, today we're gonna to just talk about a uh, conductive material focused particularly for flexible electronics applications. And really, you know, there's a number of applications out there, you know, I'm not gonna kind of go through the chat. I know everyone's quite familiar, but really what we're looking for is developing material that has a low uh, temperature treatment that can uh, produce excellent electrical and mechanical properties and flexibility. So what we're going to talk about is a material that we've uh, developed uh, based on low temperature sintering technology. Um, and it's going to offer, you know, a number of these things, uh, very low conductivity, um, excellent adhesion strength to a wide variety of substrates, uh, good flexibility, um, good printability, and good reliability uh, for uh, humidity testing and temperature cycling. So the first topic we're gonna to kind of cover will be uh, the conductivity. So, you know, almost like uh, what the conductivity material and how we achieve such a low um, conductive performance. So the material um, for low temperature sintering, uh, you know, has a heat treatment temperature of about 120 C to 30 minutes. Uh, right now, most of all our treatments have been done in a convention oven. You know, but uh, that 120C, this can also transition uh, quickly to uh, belt ovens as well. Um, and as you can see, when you look at the specific resistance, you know, on a polycarbonate uh, substrate, you know, it's, uh, it's extremely low, um, offering sheet resistance down to six micro ohms per square millimeter. You know, it offers no peeling, um, good print and thickness and good flexibility. And really, how do we achieve such a low conductivity? It really comes down to the fact that you know, we're utilizing um, sintered technology, which allows us to actually have the materials, um, the silvers uh, bond together through a sintering process. So when you compare to a typical material that's got highly filled with silver, um, you're looking just for the silver particles that get contact and you, you want a balance of, of different size silver particles here. Uh, th this heat treatment allows us to get really low resistivity um, through the fact that we are actually sintering the particles together at a low temperature. So next we'll kind of talk about the, the flexibility of the material. So um, we did two types of uh, uh, bending tests. Um, basically what we did is uh, we printed the ink onto a polycarbonate sheet, um, 60 millimeters in length, about one millimeter width and two microns thick, so fairly thin line. And then over an andril of three different diameters, we did four millimeters, five millimeters, and uh, 52 millimeters. Um, while measuring uh, the resistance, um, we repeatedly um, wrapped the polycarbonate sheet around um, with the silver side up um, and repeated this for 500 times. As you can see below, you know, we with the four millimeter, we did see some, you know, resistance change, but particularly with the five millimeter and 52 millimeter, there's um, really very minimal change. Um, 500 flexes with, with pretty much, um, you know, there was no breaking or cracking after repeated um, flexing. When we look at um, just kind of keeping it flex, so basically what we did is, we, we did uh, the same uh, structure. We then bent this over a 52 millimeter diameter mandrel. Um, and here we, we kept it for uh, 160 days, basically in 